Bonsoir et bon appétit. Oh my gosh, tonight I'm making a vichyssoise soup, which is a potato leek soup with garlic, a lot of yumminess, and it's delicious. I hope you watch this video and learn from this. You can serve it hot, you can serve it cold. It's wonderful. Thank you. Subscribe, like if you like this. Thank you. Oh my gosh. I'm making potato leek soup. Better known in France as vichyssoise. Um, one of my favorite soups. You can serve it hot, cold. Simple ingredients, easy to make. So let's get started. Let me introduce you to my ingredients. So I got two large leeks. I got one onion. I got a bit of celery. Two large garlic cloves. Three medium sized potatoes. You could do four. You know, about uh, about three quarters of a pound. You can go a little more. It's okay. You're gonna need some butter. You're gonna need some white pepper, some salt. I'm using sea salt because most people have too much sodium in their diets. Sea salt eliminates that and gives you that wonderful flavor. And plus, this salt tastes much good, better. I'm using some heavy whipping cream for that, not too much. And that's it. It's really, oh, and chicken stock. About mm, three cups of chicken stock. Um, I make my own um, chicken stock, and I can I show you how to do it in an hour. Um, so please refer to that video on how to make it. If not, you don't have the time, an extra hour to make your chicken stock and have leftover bones from chickens and stuff like that and celery and stuff left over. Um, it's okay. Um, but watch the video so you learn how to save that and make it in the future. It'll save you quite a bit of dollars and add so much flavor. So I'm going to chop up this... Uh, Onion. I'm going to slice up this leek and clean it. Um, if you need to learn how to slice and clean a leek, I have a video for that too. I will add that leek in my description. I'm going to chop up and peel my garlics and give it a little smash. Um, I will peel my potatoes. Um, and I won't do that right away. I will wait till. Um, all this is uh, sautéing of the onion, the garlic, the the leek, and the celery, and it's you'll see. So stay tuned. We'll be back. Okay, so we're back. So what I did is I chopped my leeks thinly. I threw them in a saucer, rinsed them, get all the dirt out. I chopped my onions, threw it in there. Chopped my celery, threw it in there. Took my garlic, peeled it, smashed it with a knife. Boom, or your palm. And then chopped it, threw it in there. Simple. Now, we're gonna take our butter. Go. Kind of a delay. <laughs> Needed oxygen, I guess. All right. I'm putting that on a medium heat, throwing all my butter in there. I just cut it into four pieces. Now I'm going to melt that butter, and I'm going to throw all those vegetables in, and I'm going to saute it. And uh, you don't want to brown them. You want them translucent, so about 15 minutes. And um, we'll be back. I'll show you throwing the leeks in there and the potatoes. Excuse me, not the potatoes. Potatoes are ready. I haven't even peeled them yet. Those come later. So while that 15 minutes is going, I will peel those potatoes near the end of the 15 minutes because I will need that. And I will cube those potatoes. It's such an easy dish to make, and it's so delicious. You can serve it in the winter, hot, in the summer, cold, beautiful. We'll be right back. Okay, the butter is melted. I'm going to add all the vegetables in there. All that leek, all that 
onion, all that garlic, celery, oh, onion, and look how full that is. That's why it takes a while. It's going to take like 15 minutes. So what you're going to do is you're going to cover this and occasionally stir it. I would say every two to three minutes, uncover it and stir it. And we'll be back. <laughs> okay, it's been 15 minutes. Been stirring it occasionally. Prevent browning. I wasn't completely successful in preventing browning. Just while I was peeling those potatoes, I nicked my finger. <laughs> I have not nicked my finger with a peeler in years. But yes, today it happened. So this is nice and soft. So the guideline's 15 minutes. Take a good look at it. And it should be nice and soft, which this is, it's there. So I peeled my potatoes and uh, cubed them. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a, I, I keep them in water so they don't brown. Now I'm going to take them, drop them into all that goodness that we worked so hard to make. And I need the starch, so I'm going to save this water. I might need that later. I'm going to stir this in there. And now I am going to add I'm going to add my chicken stock that I warmed up. Goodness in there. Give that a little stir. There we go. Now I'm going to bring this to a boil. So I'll try to get any loose leaves or onions back in there because <laughs> they will dry up on the side. So raise your heat up, bring it to a boil, reduce your heat, and what we're just going to do is cover it in 20 minutes or so, maybe 24 minutes, 25 minutes. Anyways, in 20 minutes I'll check on it. And what I'm going to check is see if my potato is nice and soft. And then we're going to let it cool a little bit, and then we're going to puree it. And then we'll do some more magic. So we will be back. I'm going to bring this to a boil, cover it. We'll be back in 20 minutes. Just in case you wanted to see what a good boil is, that's what a good boil is. So now I'm just going to put it all the way on low, cover it. 20 minutes later, we'll check back on it. And the magic is coming. <laughs> So we're back. Now, it looks like the potatoes have cooked. Uh, it took a little more than 20 minutes. It took like maybe 22 minutes. But I checked on it, and the way I checked on it, I just pushed down on the potatoes, the smushes. It's good. Now, you have two, well, three options. You can transfer this, let it cool, and transfer this so let me turn off my heat. Let it cool and transfer this into a blender or a food processor. Or you can get one of these, which makes it so easier. So just drop that in there. And you work it like that. No time at all. No time at all. So I'm going to pause this so you don't have to hear this. 
Um, so I'm going to blend this really good till it's like a puree. And when it's a nice, good puree, then I'll put the video back. And what we're going to do is bring, uh, we're going to transfer this to a clean pan. And then we're going to add the cream and do the magic. And we're almost done. So we're almost there, folks. So stay tuned. <laughs> we are back. So look at how I pureed this. And it's just uh, nice and creamy. There's no lumps. Now, if you do it in a different pan, you don't have to put it in a clean pan. I never do. So I'm just going to show you how I do it, which is the point of this video, right? So. You can transfer it to a clean pan, but if you do it in the de puree in this pan, it makes no sense. So anyways, we're going to put the heat back on. Now this is, you got to be careful. You kind of put it on a medium low heat and you're going to slowly bring it back to just when it starts to bubble. Now you're going to be careful because if you let it go just too crazy, you see how it's starting to bubble already? Okay, it's hot enough. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some cream, some heavy cream. Um, if you want to, you know, there's really not that many calories in heavy cream compared to butter and other things. So just don't, eh, don't worry about it. So what we're going to do is we're going to add about, um, let's say three quarters of a cup. That's about three quarters of a cup. I'm going to stir that in, and now I'm going to put the heat back on, but I do not want to bring it to a boil, so I'm going to put it all the way low, and I'm going to constantly mix this, gently. And this is the trickiest part of making this dish, which is not tricky at all. <laughs> So now, notice how it's, it's becoming a beautiful, creamy, yeah, that's what I want it to look like. This beautiful, creamy, now I'm going to take a, some white pepper, drop it in there, and that's about, oh, let's say a couple teaspoons. And that's okay. Um, you you want to have it a little bit of punch, that creaminess. And the white pepper will do that for you. But gently, keep mixing it. And then we're going to add some salt. Once I get that pepper really mixed in good, because the, the salt, you add it, you, you can do a taste almost immediately and know if you need more or less. But I'm going to break this pepper down. And if you see any lumps, just be patient and keep turning. And look at that. Yeah, that's there. All right, so then some salt. And honestly, you don't need to. Good pinches. All right. Now, get your tasting spoon and give it a, give it a little taste. It's pretty good. Needs another pinch of salt. And I think I want it a little more creamy than that. So I'm going to add a little more cream. And we're going to stir that. But do not boil it. You don't want to boil this. Bad idea. 
And I know I mentioned this before, you can serve it hot, you can serve it cold. This is wonderful in the summer, it's cold. But I think it's better in the winter when it's cold out there. And you have a nice hot soup that clings to, oh, just like, just clings to your spoon. And have this with some bread. I recommend a French round or a baguette. Put it in the oven for a few minutes so it's nice and warm. And, or you can do slices of the French round or in baguette and put it in your toaster. It's much easier to put it in your oven. You know, if you're doing the baguette, you can do some slices and put a little bit of olive oil on it and brown it. Oh, that's good too. Uh, let's taste this now. <clears throat> amazing. Absolutely amazing. Creamy. Wonderful. Vichy soup. The leek just stands out. Potatoes. Just beautiful. Really, that's it. Um, you don't, the only thing we're going to add to this is some chives. And I will show you what that looks like when I am ready to serve this. Okay, check it out. We got my beautiful creamy potato soup. And I am serving. And I'm going to. Oh, put uh, two and a half of these in there. I'm going to drop some chopped chives in the center, like that. And check that out. Look how beautiful that is. I'm serving that with some bread. How can you go wrong? Bon soirée, bon appétit. I hope you enjoyed this video. You learned something. That's my goal. Um, thank you to my subscribers. <laughs> I'm very humbled by you guys subscribing. Um, like this if you like it. Comment. Anyways, thank you so much. Share it with the world. Anyways, bonne soirée, bon appétit. Merci.